Hello everyone, and today we are back for another Lumion Legacy Top 5 video. And we're going to be talking about the Top 5 Sweet Retreat Lumions in all of Lumion Legacy. Sweet Retreat hasn't been out for over 18 months, so before we get Sweet Retreat again, we're going to be talking about the Top 5 Lumions from this exclusive event. Let's head right into the video. Number 5 onto this list is going to be Sinogre. And a lot of people might be shocked that Sinogre is on this list. But there are actually some really good perks Sinogre has. It has pretty good coverage in Muck Blast, Boom Bash, and Spectral Burst. It also has decent ranged attack and pretty good ranged bulk. And it also has two very good abilities. Villajet makes it so it doesn't fall asleep, which could be very useful against Hypnotize users like Dyborg and Metronet. And Sweet Touch makes it so Lumians are stuck into certain attacks, which could be very helpful on a defensive Sinogre. And I think that's the thing that makes Sinogre very good. It could be ran offensively with Rageful Plushie, Stretch, or Peace of Mind. Or it could be ran defensively with Spite and Poison. There's a lot of different options you can run on Sinogre, and that's what honestly makes it really dangerous. The only reason why it is number 5 on the list and not higher is because Charonix is a way better Spite Lumion. And there's a lot of other offensive Lumions that can be utilized better. But Sinogre does have some perks. And once Charonix loses Spite, I could definitely see the usage rate for Sinogre go up because Spite is a very helpful move. And when you combine Poison and Provoke on top of that, definitely gives a lot of advantages to a defensive Sinogre. And that's why Sinogre is number 5 on this list. Number 4 onto this list is going to be... Nimurai, the Sweet Retreat Roamer. And Nimurai is very good. It has the Incandescent ability, which increases its light type attacks by 50%, 100 speed, 122 range defense, which is pretty high, and 119 ranged attack. And Nimurai is awesome. It has Peace of Mind, it has Perch, it has Gust to get rid of Hazards, Flash and Flea Pivot, and finally, Jetstream. It can actually hit Brawler types and Plant types really hard now, which is awesome. It still doesn't hit that hard. Gamma Pulse is still your strongest move because of Incandescent. But the fact that you have a better move for those Brawler and Plant types gives Nimurai a massive advantage. But it still struggles from a very bad offensive typing. It literally still only has Air and Light type moves. It does have typeless or simple type moves now. But, you know, it's usually just going to use Flash and Flay, Pace of Mind, and Perch. You can even run this with Boots because it does have a pretty fast speed stat. And its range defense is good. You can even run this with Rageful Plush if you want to. I haven't tried it. But with its high range defense, it could definitely live a hit and, and proc that plushie. It's a definitely a very good roamer, but its lack of offensive pressure due to its offensive typing definitely keeps it out of the top three. But it's still number four on this list. Number three onto this list is going to be Sea Drake. Now, a lot of people might be shocked that Sea Drake is higher than Nimurai because, you know, Nimurai has pivot and hits harder, but Sea Drake is underrated. It has the anomaly ability. 120 melee attack and thorn slam it can gain three plus ones and this thing can snowball damage really fast you can run this with specialty boots you can run wave record to hit fire types and primal slash to hit spirit types this lumion is a very good offensive lumion i will say this thing does struggle without boots you kind of have to use a baffle lumion if you don't have boots on it but with specialty boots this thing can snowball damage really fast it's very solid you can even run the Mix Sea Drake with Raidful Plushie and Insulate it. Because Insulate it makes you lose your Fire and Ice weakness, which could be awesome. You also have other moves in Peace of Mind, Sat Plant, and you just have some good abilities all together. You have Anomaly with Thorn Slam, and if you don't run that, you can run Insulate it and run Life Drain to gain some HP back. There's a lot of good options with Sea Drake. The only reason why it isn't higher is because there's no way it can really be used defensively. I mean... Fructress is a better defensive Lumion because of Drop of Youth, but that insulated ability can be useful for a mixed Rateful Plushie set. And of course, Anomaly Thorn Slam is really dangerous that puts Sea Drake into the top three on this list. Number two onto this list is going to be Fishkarna. Fishkarna is one of the best range tanks in all of Lumion Legacy. With its high range defense stat, Stratagem to hit hard, Maroon to wreck energy calcs, and also the regift ability makes Fishkarna one of the best anti leads in all of Lumion Legacy. There is also a debate to run Festifer over Fishkarna, 
But the reason why Fishkarna is better than Festifer is because Fishkarna has a way better defensive typing. While Festifer can wall certain Lumians, being quad weak to fire and weak to dark is really devastating in this metagame. Fishkarna, though, on the other hand, is resistant to fire. And one of the best wall breakers in the game is Soul Burst Erupt the Dawn. And Fishkarna is a solid option to stop Soul Burst Erupt the Dawn. It isn't the best option as, you know, Luminami and Jalusa are better options, but still, Jalusa is a range tank that can that can resist the hazards, bounce them back to the opposing team, and deal damage in return. It also has Recycle, so you can run Recycle and Milkshake and gain free HP. You have Soft Water. Mudslide to get rid of barbs, and if you really want to roll wall bar blast, you have the gummy ability just specifically for bar blast. Fishkarna is awesome, and if it wasn't for the number one Lumia, this Lumia would be number one, but it's still a well deserved number two spot on this list. Honorable mentions on this list, and honorable mention number one is Sorelli. I didn't know where to place Sorelli on the list because Sorelli is honestly kind of trash, but that appetite ability is OP. The fact that I didn't put Appetite at number one on my top five most overpowered abilities list is absolutely criminal. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, Appetite makes Sorelli good, and Appetite's the most overpowered ability in all of Lumia Legacy. It's not on the list, though, because it's very controversial, and it's banned on tournaments anyway. Honorable mention number two is Gastroke, and I know what everyone is thinking. You can't get Silver Gastroke from Sweet Retreat. There was actually a Slugling Reskin, like a Cake Slugling Reskin. So I did want to count Gastroke on the list. It would probably be number two. But I didn't want to add it on the list because, you know, you can't get the totemized stats on it. So that's why Gastroke is only an honorable mention. Gastroke is an awesome Lumion, but I don't fully count it as a sweet retreat Lumion. The best sweet retreat Lumion in all of Lumion Legacy is... Your Snack. It's not even close. Your Snack is by far the best sweet retreat Lumion in all of Lumion Legacy. Not to mention, it's probably a top 10, maybe even top 5 Lumion. It has the tank ability. It has great defenses on both sides. It has slapdown utility. It has priority. It has heartbreak to cause dazes. It has pep jab to do damage. And it has baffle to lower the opposing Lumion's speed. And then you go into a wall breaker and you do some massive damage. Your snack is by far one of the best Lumions in all of Lumion Legacy. And the best pivoter in all of Lumion Legacy as well. The only minor flaw to your snack is its lack of damage potential. But even then, if you combine with barbs and poison barbs, you could definitely renegate that problem. Not to mention, it doesn't matter how much damage your snack does if you bridge into your wall breaking Lumion. The only reason why your snack could be flawed in its attack is if it's just him and another Lumion left. So that's where your snack's flaws do start to show up when it's with its low melee attack stat. But overall, it's one of the best bridge Lumions in all of Lumion Legacy, and it has so much utility that it has to be number one on the list. And it also has to be a top 10 Lumion on everyone's top 20 list. Your Snack is the best sweet retreat Lumion in all of Lumion Legacy. And here it is, Your Snack, the best sweet retreat Lumion in all of Lumion Legacy. I hope you guys enjoyed this list of me talking about the top 5 Sweet Retreat Lumions. I hope Sweet Retreat eventually gets added in the future, and hopefully this video still ages pretty well once that event comes out. If there are so many Sweet Retreat Lumions that I missed, please tell me in the comments below. That's the end of the video, and I'll see y'all all later. Bye-bye!